Hi guys, uh, this is a second part, if not the third, um, working on a 2010 Audi A4 2.0 Turbo 4. This is a premium package. Uh, today I'm going to start uh, by uh, removing the, uh, the crank pulley and uh, after I remove the crank pulley I'm gonna attempt to remove the, uh, the lower timing chain cover so the setup for uh, the crank pulley is as follows I just I just set this up so basically you have the uh, special bar here to hold the crank pulley it has four pins that stick inside and you have an extension and uh, try to use the element that you have so uh, when I when I uh, try to open this one, the bar is gonna go down downwards and it's going to be blocked by the frame uh, right here. So that's what you want to do. Uh, this is a long bar and it's holding this one against this one. So you always wanna uh, use what you have uh, to the best way possible. So. It's not as easy as I thought. Uh, maybe I should. Uh, we should go harder on it. Okay. All right. Okay, got it. All right. Now, as you guys can see now, I can, uh, I can uh, uh, remove it by hand, but before I do that, I'm going to have a spacer uh, ready, and the moment I get the bolts out, uh, I get the, the crank pulley, I'm going to put the, uh, the, the bolts back in with the, with the spacer. Okay, so I got this spacer ready. Uh, I'm just gonna put it here. Now I don't have to. So here's the. Uh, uh, you need the uh, uh, 24, 24 millimeter, and uh, a long bar. Also, you need this uh, special tool. I just got this out. All right, put it inside. Put this back here, and it goes straight back where where you got it from. So that's it. Hand tight is enough. That's it. Okay. Uh, so here, there's a lot of junk. There's a lot of dust, dirt, whatever. Uh, and uh, kept uh, piling up here, you know, so I'm gonna have to clean it first before I remove this uh, this cover. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, just to get some uh, nice space where I can work, I'm gonna remove the uh, tensioner. It takes uh, M12 uh, and uh, once you remove it, uh, Once you remove the, uh, the tensioner, you have nice and clear uh, area where it's work. So as I always recommend, uh, I have here the, the pulley, I have the pulley, the tensioner and the bolts in one bag. This is one step, keep them separate. Okay guys, I uh, managed to remove the uh, cover. Uh, it was not easy. Uh, you just have to be patient and very careful. As you guys can see, there are uh, two marks. One on the right, up. One on the left, down. 
the one to the left pointing uh, down is the one for the main timing chain so as you can see I put this uh, I put this uh, what it's it's magnet I put it inside here when I reach the maximum the dots are going to be here so I'm, I'm almost there uh, you're gonna notice that uh, this this bar or this magnet is gonna go up but then it's gonna stop that's see that's the maximum that's the maximum if I keep turning it's gonna go down and if you look here if you look right here there's a dot okay and there's another one here I think you can see them and there's another one here if you can't see that you can obviously see this one so when this reaches the top that means it's top that center Sorry, actually I was wrong. Um, the reason why it works with this one because it was loose, and because it was loose, uh, one tooth was enough to turn it. But actually, the right size is the this size. See, it's fitting perfectly. And this is the timing actuator solenoid. It's even like stuck inside because it's the right size. So, my bad. This is the right size. Remove these bolts. These bolts are different size. And they are four. So the size in, is uh, an indicator. The number is also an indicator. And that's all I use the size and the the number and that helps me I uh, kind of figure out where everything goes so the reason why I'm sharing this info first of all I'm not a mechanic I'm not a, a trained mechanic by professionals uh, I'm just, you know, uh, doing this by myself. I'm learning from YouTube. Thank you guys for teaching me at first place. And now I'm just sharing what I know. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. This is very simple. This is very easy. It's no complicated job. It's A, B, C. You know, you just remove A and B and C. Then uh, install C and B and A. That's all. That's all what you do. And it's very simple, very easy. You can do it. So don't be scared of, of, of Audi, you know, and uh, don't let, uh, you know, people uh, rip you off and tell you, okay, this engine is no good, you have to get rid of it and uh, install another one. Uh, don't do that. If you're going to throw this away and put another engine, why don't you use it as a project? Let's mess with it. Let's break it even more beyond repair and then go to plan B and install another engine so why don't you learn from this engine at first place this is what made me capable of doing this job and this is the third engine that I'm working on and doing this work so I did the first one there was absolutely no problem second one no problem this is the third one finger crossed Here you go. I'll just give all of them the same exact 
turn. Uh, loosen them up. Uh, normally I should I should have started here, but I honestly don't think it will matter that much because I'm not torquing them down. And I don't. So the cylinder head gasket that was installed in the car, uh, it's original from Audi. It has the logo here and it's brand new. I compared it to the new one and it's a perfect match.